Hello, this is Patrick from 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this video is continue to take a look at the Remove from Stock option provided by 1CNC XR5. Now, in our last video, we took a look at how the Remove from Stock option can be used using our stock toolpath. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use the Remove from Stock option using our model toolpath. And just as a refresher, the Remove from Stock is designed to reduce the amount of air cuts when removing material. In this example, we have a layer called forging. This layer can be named anything that you'd like. And on that layer, I've created a forging. So that's the material that I want to take into account for. More specifically, that's the shape I want to take into account for when I start removing material. Now, we don't even need to have this turned on to use it. So I'm going to turn that layer off. Let's head over here to the main toolbar. And underneath the cam category, this time we're going to select model tool pass. Let's go with Z-Level Rough. And I already have a tool selected. We have a 3 quarter inch end mill. Our clearances look great. We're going to use high speed open. Down here where it says machine from stock, just like before, you click this little button and it will show you all the layers that contain a solid model. This is the layer that we want to take into account for, the forging layer. And again, it doesn't have to be named forging. It could be named anything that you'd like, but I'm going to say that looks good. All that looks fine. We're still going to take 100 thousandths depth of cut. We'll use the extents. That's fine. We'll click Next. All that looks good. And we'll let it generate the toolpath. All right. Let's backplot our toolpath. And just like before, what we'll do is we'll change our views to a, a left view. So space bar and left view here. That looks good. And let's bring our forging layer back on. And just like before, what we'll do is we'll change our display to transparent. And you can see now that the toolpath has definitely taken into account the shape of our forging. As I rotate this around, you can see that it's also done so, uh, done so in this lower right-hand corner. All right, so that's the brand new feature called Remove Stock and or Remove from Stock option. It's available within XR5. You're going to find it inside of the Mill Expert software. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.